I'm about to cook some sausages and again like some of the other videos um, the flies are pretty bad down here so if you don't like the look or the uh, sight of flies crawling all over food or just swarming you may not want to watch because uh, yeah they're everywhere So here we got something new. I've always had this little guy for doing hot water and that, um, mainly in winter and that because, uh, as you all know, the little beer paint cookers in winter, the, uh, the cans freeze up and they're hopeless. So I got this little jet, jet fire, uh, jet stove, and this can of beer paints lasts me a good couple of months too. So we're uh, testing out, but a little square frying pan on it. I can probably fit five or six sausages in there. And um, it's just something easy if you want to uh, stop on the side of the road, whip it out cook your snags, have a bit of a feed and uh, keep on keep on travelling. So we'll cook some snags up here and see uh, see how the little little guy goes. Now I'm just gonna back the heat off a little bit here because I've got it on a bit strong. The good thing with a um, heating element this small is you can control the heat a lot. Um, the best thing, the easiest thing with cooking snags is just don't put too much heat in on too quick, especially if they're a bit thick. There's nothing worse than having burnt snags and having insides raw. Even though there's no meat in them, especially the uh, supermarket ones, it's all sawdust, but still, you want to enjoy what you're eating. The easiest things you can do when you're camping is cooking sausages and with a little setup like this it takes next to nothing, um, quick and easy to set up and I've got this little uh, skillet here that comes from, uh, I think it's from the reject shop, cost about five or six bucks. Um, I'll try and find one that hasn't got the ribs, the ribs inside it but it takes up little space, easy to clean and I can probably fit another, another two sausages in there if I wanted to. Starting to smell good, get hungry. There you go, they're done. And um, the little cooker worked pretty pretty well. There's no there's no real heat on top, which I was worried about because it's sort of bigger pan than what it's probably normal to have on it. I thought it'd just direct all that heat down, but it's uh it's worked pretty well. Um, again, it's probably not made to have such a large well it's not really that large. So that's me sort of hand as long as the sausage, really big sausage, so um, I don't know, it's worked pretty well and uh, it's definitely a lot easier than carrying some of those big, big uh, Primus or dual, dual ring burners and that sort of stuff out and about. You're not worrying about gas bottles, you're not worrying about the, uh, the butane cans um, freezing up on you during the winter months. This time of year it's not that bad, they, they won't freeze up. Um, yeah, no, I'm real happy with this and uh, I might have to get a couple more, a couple of spares and I'll definitely have to get some more cartridges even though this one's probably... Uh, well, it wasn't full when I got it off... Uh, off Dave, so um, the, uh, I think they're about eight bucks. And it's definitely lasted more. I've done more of this than what I have with regular beer paint cans, so it, um, it's pretty good. I'll get some more, and uh, we'll see how it goes down the track. <laughs> 